So I did my presentation on the coronavirus. So a quick outline of the presentation. First, we're going to go over an overview of the coronavirus. Then we're going to go over the viral genome, the diseases that the coronavirus causes, patient presentation and symptoms, the reservoir of the virus, transmission, and then treatment. So an overview of the coronavirus. So coronaviruses are named for the crown-like spikes on their surface. They are very common throughout the world. Most coronaviruses infect animals, but there are six different coronaviruses that also infect humans. So some coronaviruses that infect animals also infect and spread between humans. And when this occurs, symptoms can be severe. So the coronavirus genetic makeup. So coronaviruses are enveloped, single-stranded RNA viruses. So if you look at the picture on the right, on the left-hand side, bottom left, you'll see an arrow pointing to the RNA. And then the RNA is protected by nucleocapsid proteins. And then the whole entire thing is surrounded by an envelope. So the top right hand, you'll see an E pointing to the envelope. And then on the envelope, you have membrane proteins and spike proteins. Another thing to note about the coronavirus is that they are host specific. So diseases that the coronavirus causes are respiratory illnesses in humans. So the two most severe diseases are MERS and SARS. MERS comes from MERS COV, which is MERS coronavirus, and that stands for Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. And then you also have SARS, which comes from SARS COV, and that stands for Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome. So for MERS, the way that it got its name um, is that health officials first reported the disease in Saudi Arabia, and then since then, all cases of MERS have been linked through travel to or residence in or around the Arabian Peninsula. So there are four other coronaviruses that are more common, but those usually cause mild to moderate upper respiratory tract illnesses, like the common cold. So symptoms. General symptoms include those of the common cold, like I mentioned earlier, so runny nose, headache, cough, sore throat, fever. And then MERS and SARS have been known to frequently cause severe and sometimes lethal respiratory symptoms. So MERS symptoms often progress to pneumonia or kidney failure and can be deadly. The CDC actually reports that three to four out of 10 people reported with MERS have died. And SARS symptoms usually progress to pneumonia. So one thing to note about SARS is that it was first reported in 2003 um, and then it had like a really quick global, global outbreak um, within just like a few months. But since then, since 2003, 2004, it's been contained and there actually hasn't been any reported cases of SARS. But unfortunately for MERS, um, that one is still prevalent and even though it's more rare than some of the other coronaviruses, um, it's still possible to contract the virus and um, get the disease. So the reservoirs for coronaviruses, they're common in many different species of animals but most commonly they're present in camels and bats. So for transmission, so human coronaviruses spread from an infected person to others by direct contact with respiratory secretions or body fluids. They're spread through the air, so coughing or sneezing. Um, also touching a contaminated surface or object and then touching one's mouth, nose, or eyes. And then fecal contamination, but that is more of a rare uh, mode of transmission. So just bringing your attention to the image on the right hand side, this is kind of just like an overview of the whole transmission. So on the left hand side you can see that the coronavirus starts with the bats and the camels and then from there um, from there we, we pick up the, the virus and then we transmit it either through community contact um, or healthcare associated transmission. So either patient to patient or through a, like a healthcare personnel. So the treatment for the diseases and treatment for the virus, 
Um, unfortunately, there are no vaccines available for the coronavirus, um, and there are also no specific treatments for illnesses caused by coronaviruses. However, the CDC recommends the following to relieve symptoms. You can take pain and fever medications, um, use a room humidifier or steam shower to help ease a sore throat and a cough, and then for more severe cases, such as MERS, um, current treatment includes care to support vital organ functions. And then finally, I just have a list of all my references below. So all of the information found in the presentation um, can be found on the links below. And if you wanted to just research any more about the coronavirus, you're welcome to. And then also all of the images that I used are linked below. And thanks so much for listening and hope everyone has a great week. Thanks.